and we're back in the kind of transformed office layout. I'm still trying to perfect the lighting on my face and everything, so do let me know if you think I feel or appear a bit too dark or... Hold on. There we go, just changed the lighting a little bit there. <laughs> this is the thing, you see, when you mess around with your room colour, your lighting starts to get a little bit messed up. Let me just show you what happens to the lighting on my face when I turn this light off behind me. So I've got a tube light here, right? Watch what happens to the, my, the light on my face when I turn this off. Notice how I'm more lighter because the light hits me. The minute you have a light on behind you, even though these are now like really light grey walls, it washes out the light on your face. All I'm going to do is turn on the light behind me. Watch the colour of my face, okay? Watch the colour of my face. You see that? That's off. This is on. The wonders of colour and lighting. God, thank God I don't make movies, right? Except YouTube videos. Hopefully some of you will have noticed that we put out a new video because we're now running a new webinar next Tuesday. It's one hour long. It's a free webinar, by the way. It's just one hour. There's no con, right? It is literally, we're not going to go, oh, if you want to know more about LinkedIn, you now got to buy this or buy that. No, there's no con. It is just a straight up. Um, hey, Maddie, how are you doing? It is just, hey, Harish, it's just a straight up one hour webinar. Um, so I'm calling the camera. He's asking if he can, excuse me, you might as well let everybody know. What are you asking me? My friends are outside, so. Your friends? Um, Your friends? Um, so I was asking my dad if I okay. could go out. Um, you can't go out unless you get something on. You can't go out in shorts, no. it's too cold. No, go and put no. jeans on or jogging bottoms on or something and socks and shoes. Tut, tut, tut. Hey, uh, K Kish G. Uh, hey, John, how are you? Yeah, it's, he's on his Easter holidays at the moment. So if anyone here has not kind of uh, gone and had a look yet, we're running a new webinar, which is going to be all about LinkedIn. Um, I really hope I see a lot of you there. Let me get make straight, okay? The only reason we're running this is because a lot of people ask us about, well, how do I get clients? And what I'm trying to steer you towards is, hey, Erling, is how you might want to consider maybe doing more with LinkedIn. And I'm going to be sharing some strategies with you on what you need to do, especially in terms of your profile, networking, and how to get the best out of LinkedIn. So this is next Tuesday. You do have to sign up. By the way, that webinar is not going to be um, like, um, it's going to be like a private thing. So only people that sign up to attend it, and it is a free webinar, okay? It's not, you know, there won't be like a, um, it's not like we're going to release a replay to the whole world or anything like that. Hey, Gary, how are you doing? Um, so what did I want to say? Yes, so here's, here's, here's the changes. So here's the changes. We painted the wall. I've shifted things around a little bit, put a shelf up there, changed things a little bit. I've got a tube light behind me as well now. Okay. It's a bit of a strange one, really. Because when I turn this light off, my face is brighter. When I turn the light on, right, like that, it kind of darkens me up. It's because of the background and the color like that. But hey, hey, Marcel, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. It's, um, I have a lot I've got to get done today and tomorrow. I have a big backlog. And when you are working, sorry, when you're trying to juggle work and your son is off school for two weeks, right? Two weeks he's got off school, Easter holidays, trying to do web design work, clients, videos, live chats watching TV, everything just starts to blend and meld into like a really rotten egg because I planned previously what I was going to work on last night and so far today I've only done one of the three things I said I would get done before I do the live chat. 
So I've got a bit of a backlog. Kishitaj is asking, what do you think about the new Bricks menu builder? I haven't tried it out yet. I haven't tried it out yet. Um, uh, is it even out? Is it out? I'm sorry, but is it out? It's not out yet, is it? I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a preview of it. We don't actually have it yet, do we? Am I missing something here? Can someone just correct me? Because I've been out of it this morning doing stuff. <clears throat> but can someone please just confirm to me? Is that... Um, that's not live yet, is it? I'm pretty sure it's not. Has anyone used Spectra? Uh, no, not me, Erling. I don't use Spectra. Nice to hear that you're um, on the road, Pez. Um, I hope you're doing something good. By the way, look, you know, if you haven't seen it already, there is a link. We've got a video out as well. Please go and sign up for the webinar on how to get high ticket clients on LinkedIn. This is a free webinar, okay? It's a free webinar. You just sign up, you'll get a link, and you can go and watch it next week. Y yeah, I, I changed it. I changed it, um, um, uh, Jimmy. I've changed it. Look, I've got a tube light here which I can change the color to if I want, which I'm just gonna turn off for a moment. Um, but you know, I can, I, can, I can do what I want with it. You know, you can go for uh, red, no, on. <laughs> uh, we can go for pink. <laughs> we can go for green. <laughs> we can turn it off as well. In fact, I'm gonna leave it off for now, okay. I'm going to leave it off just for now because it's just me here at the moment. So I've lightened up the background. Uh, yes, Gary, I did get that email. I did get that. Thanks for that. I've lightened it up, yeah, because I started to feel like um, it means that the focus comes on to me more rather than by having a dark background, you know, um, I uh, it, it almost brings the focus onto me in a strange, nicer way, in a way. Uh, let me just check some things. Kissy Chad says. Yep, so. Um, yeah, it's not pink. It's not pink. So don't worry about that. So also what I wanted to say was. Um, the webinar we're doing is going to be like a private thing. If you sign up, you get to join in. You know, hopefully we'll have lots of people coming along to that about sharing strategies because we get asked this a lot. And what I'm trying to get people to do is if you're trying to attract businesses to sign up with you or get leads or stuff, then uh, LinkedIn is a great choice for you. But there's so much stuff we got coming up at the moment in terms of bricks. Obviously, I've got their new menu builder coming out. Um, Elementor have got their live chat today. I think it's at 4 p.m. Is it at 3 p.m. or 4 p.m.? I can't remember. Um, no, it's exactly the same video. The space is exactly the same size. Look, it's exactly the same size. It appears smaller, but it's exactly the same size, video boy. Um... It appears smaller, but it's not. It's it's the all I've done is paint the walls, paint, 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 paint. Um, I haven't also put up my image yet, which was uh, this one. And I need to get your opinions right. I need, hey Andrew, I need to get your feelings right. Do you think this image is going to look good uh, here, behind me, or is it going to look better over here? like somewhere like that. What do you think on the side or the back wall? Back wall or side wall? Can you let me know in the comments? So back wall, side wall. What are we thinking? Side wall roughly about here uh, or somewhere there. Side wall, back wall, side wall, back wall. Which one? Which one are we going for? Which one are you, which one do you like? Uh, yes, Gary, I saw, I mean, it was more of a WooCommerce thing, wasn't it? Um, and they did correct it. They did sort that out eventually. So, 
So that's kind of like a, uh, they, they, they kind of got onto it eventually. Um, <clears throat> so, so far, Kishitij, sorry if I'm getting your name wrong. Can you, can you help me out here with how to pronounce it? Is it, can you, can you help me out with how to pronounce it, uh, Mr. Shah? So I don't want to get your name wrong. Um, most, so far at the moment, side wall is a glow from the, yes, exactly. That is why I'm thinking of the side wall. Um, you know, it, I mean, it could go even here, but the side wall would kind of work better, especially when like I do this with the back wall. So when I pop this on, uh, there we go. You know, it's going to shine on the picture, whereas here it's not sh shining on it too much. Let me get turn that off. There we go. Right. Right. Someone's asked a question and I've slightly ignored it. Gooden Records says, cart seems to be working, but not live. Okay, Gooden Records, you need to inspect your website. Double check. Have you got any JavaScript issues? Um deactivate any optimization plugins or snippets you got and then reactivate them one by one because it sounds to me like you've got a JavaScript issue. However, you might need to also clear any um, customer um, caching. So you go into WordPress, you go to WooCommerce, you go to, I think it is status, then you go to tools and what you need to do is kind of um, delete customer something something. It's it, it basically it resets the carts and checkouts across the board. Rustum, great! I'm so glad that you've registered for that. Thank you very much. Yeah, do you know what? Um, I really hope that we get some good stuff. I really hope in today's live chat with Elementor we get to more information. Um, with the post filter. I really hope we find out more about the post filter, okay? Because I think the post filter is going to be a big, you know, like um, game changer if they get that done. Just check the comments. Uh, anyone else getting the creeps in the Facebook group from Nick? Right, Erling, 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 Erling. Um, which group is this Nick Peters in? Can I please check something with someone on here? Which group is Nick Peters in, Erling? Because I've kicked Nick Peters out of the Web Squadron group twice. Which group are you referring to, Erling? Because I've kicked Nick Peters out twice now, mainly because um, he gets a little bit aggressive with his... his which group are we referring to? Because I've kicked him out of the Web Squadron Facebook group. Just confirm that, please, Erling, because uh, I have got a bit of ex interest in that. Nick, um, Dad, see me. Uh, how you doing? You've been trying to create a section background that scales on Elementor. But when I apply border radius, the border radius doesn't work or show. Mm. Um, so what you need to do, right, okay, what you need to do is obviously it's not going to work on the section. So what you've got to do is you have to, yeah, that's right, Erling, I've kicked him out. He's no longer in there, Erling. He should no longer, yeah, he's no longer in there, Erling, unless you've seen a recent comment. If so, please. Yeah, Um. I removed him. Basically, I removed him. And then he came back in again under a fake name. He came in under the name of Mace Peters. He used a different name. So then I got rid of him again after I discovered who he was, found out who he was. Now, Nick, you're saying, right, you want to do a section background. I'm pretty sure I did a... Hey, Tower Kangas. I'm pretty sure I did a video of that. Um, I'm going to have to dig it out. But I... In fact, have you seen the video that I did on slides. Right, hold on a moment. Let me get you this um, uh, link, okay? This might not answer your question, I think, but this might help steer you. Just wait a moment. Let me just dig it out. It's going to be one of my videos that I did last week. Where is it? Where is it? I did it just last week. 
it's, it, it's not that long ago. Uh, here you go. Right. So this is going to be, hey, uh, Chillster, this is going to be for Nick. Uh, see this, right? This video does not answer exactly what you want. However, look at the CSS code. Apply that to your section. This might work. Look at the CSS code, okay? And you might need to pop in a little bit of CSS. Go for it, Kisich Tidge. <laughs> I don't, I'm really, I'm, I feel like I'm getting your name really, really, really wrong. So I think that you, if you can help me out with your name, uh, it would really help out. Um, yeah, Michael says back wall. But, so I'm trying to find, I really, I feel like this needs something. I'm struggling to come up with. So if anyone has any advice about what to put here, like some sort of wall art, maybe like antlers, you know, like um, you get these the deer things you can stick on the wall. Obviously, it'll be a fake one, obviously. I don't know how people feel about that kind of stuff. They look really cool, but then at the same time, I feel like people that are vegan or, you know, are they going to be offended by that? And and so it's a very difficult one to do. Um, yeah, so basically, Erling, I warned him about eight times. He started using expletives. Then he came, he rejoined again, I think it was on Wednesday under a different name. He managed to get in under a different name. Um, and then he, someone asked a question on the, <laughs> no fat Jay, that would be, t I, I would alienate too much of my audience if I did that. Um, what did I do? Uh, someone asked a question in the Web Squadron group about um, um, who's using Divi. And he came on with like, you know, you know, Divi is F, da, 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 da. And I was like, whoa, right? The person's asked a question. You don't need to go all offensive with them. Because that's like someone saying Elemental is da, 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 da. Bricks is da, 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 da. Breakdance is actually good. I just don't like the PR campaign behind Breakdance, right? I just don't like the way they're approaching it. However, breakdance is good, but you're not going to see me do any post everywhere where I'm like, breakdance is da 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 I always make clear it's more to do with the owner and the PR of how they're doing their marketing, right? But this, you know, he just went flat out with um, Divi. Um, anyone who uses Divi or something like that, Divi is F da 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 And I thought, whoa, hold up. Hold up. And I do have zero tolerance as well. I'll be honest. In the Web Squadron Facebook group, if I notice that someone is being abusive or arrogant or using Web Squadron for their own promotional purposes, you're out the group. You are completely out the group. Yes, uh, stencil paint on the wall or neon sign. I'm the neon sign, I'm probably not going to go for Gary, mainly because um, it, it then it, it it starts to become an issue depending on the colours and stuff because I might change my colours or anything like that. You know, the lights. Yes, he did, Carapost. Yeah, he literally, literally, someone put in the Facebook group, no, the Web Squadron group, um... Is there a, is anybody using Divi? And he he replied with, um, anyone who uses Divi something something something. And then he wrote, um, Divi is f da 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 da. And he and he he was you know he criticized you know he was really critical of it. And I was like, if people are using it and they like it, let them get on with it. You know, let them get on with it. Um. Because the person who asked the question was new to the group. And so I thought, right, that this is the first time this person has ever posted in the Web Squadron group. They're brand new. Not brand new, but they were very new. First time they've posted and the first reply they get is someone literally criticizing and abusing their question. I was like, no, I'm not having that. I'm not having that. That reminds me of like when... Um, you're in a class or you're at a meeting 
and someone says something and you put your hand up going, I don't understand that. And everybody laughs at you. Everyone just looks at you and goes, oh, how can you not know that? What You don't know what that is. You don't know what the acronym is. And they make you feel like this. And I thought, no. Uh, one of the things about the Web Squadron group that I've been very strong about is um, I want it to be very inclusive, right? Don't care about your height, your weight, your religion, what you eat, what you don't eat. I don't care about your politics. Don't care about nothing. As long as you are not ignorant, arrogant, abusive, using the group or the members for ever, any alternate purposes, um, mocking even each other. You know, so a few times I have had to just slightly nudge a few members where I've said, look, I know what you meant, but just be careful over how you convey it because it it sounds it could make the person feel really, really bad. So be positive, constru uh, constructive criticism. Positive. There's no such thing as positive, really. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, six foot two. <laughs> wow. Hey, Alex, six foot two. Have I missed something? Was this the summer look? No, I've just... I, I've basically just changed the look of the room. I mean, we have got the light. So, I mean, I do have this light. This light over here, right? Okay, watch this. React to sound. Hello. What are you? Hey, hey, hey. Bum, 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 bum. See that? It reacts to sound as well. Um, but I don't like the sound reaction because it starts to flash all the time but we have got this you know control system here but when I'm doing the live chats I'm going to leave it off <laughs> oh do you remember that comment John did you actually see that one <laughs> uh, just checking the comments sorry I'm just playing catch up here Elvis or dogs playing po- No, Michael, that is so- Oh, dear, Michael, really? I know you're joking, though, okay, Michael, but you know what? They used to be some of the most common images you'd see, um, you know, like, you know, like pictures of Elvis with the dogs playing po- The dogs playing poker is the most overused image, I think, in history. You see it everywhere. Ben is asking, I don't think you need to justify. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. Sorry, thanks for that, Ben, yeah. Um, I do often have to just sort of remind people, though, because um, um, the Elemental Facebook group is really good. However, the amount of toxicity that sometimes creeps in really gets on my nerves. But when you look at BRICS or the breakdance group, some of the toxicity in those groups, the Facebook groups, the BRICS and breakdance, is off the charts, like really off the charts. People, some of the stuff they say, they do not hold back whatsoever. Um, are you using chat GPT for short codes to improve the elemental? I am. I am. So some of the code snippets that I've put out, I have generated through chat GPT. I mean, I haven't generated it. It gives me and then we, we, we go, we tweak here and there and I ask it a further question and we do a bit more, we refine it. Um, but yeah, I've even used it to help write some CSS. I've taken some CSS I've written and I've said, could this be done better? And then it refines it for me. So I have used it like that. Uh, Michael, this, this, it's really, really weird, right? This has got tons of features, but I'm only using the feature for the light. So I sometimes go, did I just spend 50 quid for nothing? For This light does go taller. I've removed one of the panels. So at the moment it's about four foot high, roughly-ish, or something like It's nearly four foot high. I've removed one of the the, um, the beams because I want it to be slightly hidden behind me. So look, if I move the chair, you can see it there. If I make it higher, it actually would have been sticking up like that behind my head. <laughs> so it looked like I've got something growing out my head. <laughs> Mate, now, Fat Jay, I have thought about that. 
I don't think a lot of people would understand, though. They'd be like, why has he got a planet of, like, the moon behind him? <laughs> Thank you very much, Kisichid, uh, for learning from the Bricks tutorial videos. Uh, could you do one about building a directory? Yeah, um... <sighs> See, I tend to use the my listing theme, okay, which you can't use with the bricks theme, obviously. Um, I, I would have that would have to, I'd have to have a good think about that. What I've got to do though is factor in how much time do I spend researching, recording, and editing, and from a selfish point of view, what's the payoff for me? So. I could spend two or three days researching and trying to create the most perfect way of doing it, record it, edit it, could lose four days, four or five days of my life, but it, it might not have a huge benefit in what does that mean for video views, subscribes and all of that. But I, have, I, will, I, will, I will consider it because it is something that someone else mentioned as well to me a while ago. Sorry, I'm just looking at what you're saying. Oh, sorry, you mean chat GPT, Alec? Just, you know, when you mention that you're utilizing, I, I was like, what's he, what does he mean, utilize? No, sorry, yeah. Uh, hey, Andrew, you're always doing the dad taxi thing, right? Yeah, you take care, right? Speak soon. Chat GPT um, has almost single handedly changed the way you approach things in a massive, massive way. Bing AI is pretty good as well. There are bits of the Bing AI interface I really, really, really don't like. I wish it was simple like ChatGPT. I really don't like the way that if I scroll down too much, you jump out of it and then you got to jump back into it. I, I don't like that. I wish it was, I don't know, I just don't like that. Absolutely, Michael. You guys on the like, well... Maybe I get a picture of Uranus, but I only put it up during the live chats. By the way, please don't forget to hit like. We've only got uh, 14 likes so far. Hitting the likes makes a big, big difference. So please, please, please don't forget to hit the like. I've just got to quickly grab something that uh, from one of my links down here. Let me just grab this page over here. So anyone who is not aware, please do go and sign up for our new uh, webinar that we're holding uh, on the 11th of April, which is going to be about how to get high ticket clients from LinkedIn. Um, and we're going to be going through lots of strategies because did you know that 65% of our clients come from LinkedIn now? It used to be really small, like one every four or five months. Now it's come to a point where it's like two or three a month. We don't take all of them on, though. Some of them, you know, we kind of go, no, they want it for a really budget price or they um, it's the wrong. It, it, we're not on the same wavelength, but we've we've got people contacting us. Direct messages, right? And they're not contacting us because um, they want um, uh, they want to sell us something. It's more like they want us to work with them. So we'll share strategies of how we've got to that point. Because remember, when you're working with a business on LinkedIn, they'll have a network, they'll have connections, and it leads on to word of mouth referrals. Um, nice one, John. Yeah, I mean... Um, in, a, in some way, John, I think it's like best thing you can do if you ever see any comment on the Web Squadron Facebook group, which you do not like, please report it rather than getting involved into a tit for tat or anything because you don't know where it's going to go. Just report it to me and I will go and investigate and have a look. I treat, I take everything seriously. Rustam, do you think WordPress will ever update the old date, uh, default backend view? No. They won't, Rustam, because it's practically been like that for 20 years. That WordPress backend will probably never, ever change. I mean, they allow us to adapt the colors, right? But no, I don't think they will, Rustam. I mean, WordPress are doing more here and there. 
But at the same time, damn, are they slow and boring. Can I just say that WordPress backend, the dashboard is boring, like boring. Hey, cheers, Harish. And Ernesto, how you doing? What AI tools do I use for design rather than code? Yeah, okay. So here's what I use for design, okay. Here's what I use for design. And I've shared this a few times now. Um, paper, mate. You wireframe on paper. You wireframe on paper. You, that's what you do, right? Um, for inspiration. Okay, again, I covered this before. Let's say your client is a landscaper and your client lives in um, Manchester. You ask them who's their competitors. If they don't know, you go on to Google. Who near them servicing the same area has a website? Look at what they've got. What's good, what's bad, what's ugly. Then look at other websites generally. What's good, what's bad, what's ugly. Maybe they're a landscaper. You find a website about horses, dogs, vet. But you like the look of it. Right. Nothing to do with landscape, but we're going to use that as inspiration with our own content, with our own images and stuff like that. That's where you get your inspiration from, right? You don't need to rely on AI to give it to you. Because I'll tell you what, Mid Journey and all of these other tools, they might make you think of something different, but does it really work in the real world? Is it really practical? Mid Journey is really good at giving you fantastic images with words and call to action buttons and the menus over here. And it's got this like grunge, like, like scattered look to it. But in real life, would it work for your client? And the answer is probably going to be no, it doesn't. So AI images, I think, are, you know, not the greatest way to do it. Hey, Pickstar, how are you doing? Hey, Tarakangas, we're going to get you, we're going to, we're going to get a fist up there and, you know, we're going to give you a big push to get you using LinkedIn a lot more. Uh, just checked some of that. Yeah, take care, Erling. Oh, yes, yeah, Soland Esperanza. How are you doing? I'm glad you use paper as well. Um, exactly, like, so there you go. You've back to what I said there. AI, AI layouts are not, they're not, um, what's the word? They're not structured to fit the goal or the aim, right? Because we can all take, uh, a client wants a website. We can all take the words and the images and create a website. But what was the aim? Does it need to have a funnel? Is it more about informing? Is it more about telling you to go elsewhere? Is it about directing you to a shop or a particular product? Is it just trying to cover lots of bases? That then forms the structure and the layout. And unfortunately, AI tools out there can't do that. What they're very clever at which is very similar to templates and themes, is give you lots of lovely images and you go, wow. But in reality, would it really work for what you were trying to achieve for you or your client? Hey, thank you very much, Rustum. Don't forget to hit like if you've not hit like already. At John, so at the moment, uh, John, someone did say to me that they had worked out the rest of the code for it, but and they were going to send it to me, but then they never did send it to me. Hey, Matt, how are you doing? Um, are you are, are you in your new job now? You are in your new job, aren't you? Have you started that yet? I think you have, haven't you? Um. Ooh. <sighs> Just realised my back is hurting a little bit. Raheem pulled me, pulled my arm this morning. He was messing around. He's slightly, I think he's nudged my back a little bit there. Yeah. So if anyone has not gone and had a look, um, please don't forget you can go and sign up for our free webinar, which is free. It's one hour. It's a private webinar. I won't be releasing this as a video anywhere else. This is a private webinar, and it's going to be all about 
how to get more out of LinkedIn. Okay, how to get more out of LinkedIn. And while we're here, I'm actually going to go in and um, someone's asked a question and I'm just going to go in and double check something. Okay, they've asked a question about product. Um, um, they've asked a question about uh, the, the loop grid for products and, I, and I'm not sure... I fully understand what the problem is. So they said they had a problem with the loop grid. So I'm going to very quickly just drop it in. And they said they were using products. We're going to do create template, blah, blah. Let's fly through it, right? They said they couldn't sort the order. And out of curiosity, I'm not sure I quite understand what they're talking about. So I'm just going to just quickly create a... Uh, you know, a quick, just do a quick loop grid. There we go. We have a quick loop grid. Pepsi Max. Mm, these are fake products. Well, it's not a fake product. You can buy Pepsi Max, but it's a fake product for a fake website, if that makes sense. Okay, cool. Right. So um, if we go over now to the query, they, ah, yes. So this is something I actually forgot about. Oh, the info bar. What, you mean that one? There you go. Boop. <laughs> you mean that one, don't you? Yes. Sorry. Thank you for letting me know. Hey, Erica, how are you? Sorry, I didn't. did you just jump in, Erica? Hope you're okay. Um... Right, so the problem is, is that is what they're basically saying is at the moment you have to sort by option, but when you go to current query, it is missing, and that is a little bit of a you know, like I actually forgot about that. That it doesn't seem like you have that facility. So if you are doing like latest products or you're sorting by you know whatever featured or anything, you can sort by these items. The minute you pick current query, which technically does make sense, you can't actually sort it by that. And I I thought you could. I thought you could. So I have to now let that person know uh, that, yep, yeah, they were right. I was wrong. Basically, I gave them duff information. And I now feel really, really bad because I gave them duff information. So I just got it right here. Sorry, you are... Right, it can't be done, I think, with current query. Sorry, I'm just writing down here. I don't think we can do what they wanted to do. Sorry, multitasking there. Nice one, Matt. Start of your third week. How are you liking it? Obviously, be very careful what you say because this is our live stream. But I hope genuinely you are bonding with your teammates. They've got you working hard and working well. And you are feeling comfortable and happy in what you're doing. Um, thank you very much, Sol. I, like, I hope you like the video we put out today, which was about how could you alternate between post and quote in a really inventive way. Did you like the video I put out today? Did you like the video? Yeah, exactly, Pixar. I think I I I think they've missed a trick there as well. You're right, Pixar. Current query should have the same option. Anyway, I hope you like the video we put out today about the loop grid. Who saw the video with the loop grid? Who saw the video with the loop grid? The one I put out today with the post and quote. Post and quote. Post and quote, post and quote, post and quote. Guess what? Post and quote. Who saw that? Who liked it? Did anyone not like it? Um, right. Alex is saying, can you put the loop grid into a single list? Uh, yes, you can. Of, of course you can. So what you would do is, uh, let's just go over here. Let's just change this to be posts. Right. There we go. We've got posts. Um let me just go to query. Let me just uh, let me just do term like this, right? Let's just go for the squadron term. Uh, there we go. Just so we get all the posts like that. Okay. Um, let me now. Um, da -da 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 -da. So what you would do is you click on the query. You go to layout, and you can make it be say one column like that. 
And then you could uh, shrink the size of this down uh, to be, I don't know, uh, let's go with 300. No, let's go, let's make it really smaller, right? Let's go with 100, right? Look, there we go, look. So once you then are, where's my qu query? There we go. And then you can sort of, uh, there we go, look. So that is now a post, like a single list of posts, right? Remember, you are working with loop grid and containers. You can do whatever you want in there. Um, so yeah, you could do that if you want. I hope that answered the question. I think that was the question you were asking. Um, I might be wrong. Um, yes, yeah, so El Chanel, you can't do it with current query. So on current query, you can't do it, which is really, really odd. It's a bit of an odd one, that. Um, yeah, sli slightly, uh, slightly odd, but you can't do it on the current query. Anyway, um, how to remove, video poi says, how to remove extra space in the text element in Elementor. You gotta, there's a video video boy that we've done which would remove that. There's a bit of CSS, I can't remember. Um, I can't remember what the video's called. I think, it, just do a search for text editor. You'll find the video, how to remove the, that extra return spacing. Yeah, there you go, Alex, you can do it. Don't worry, mate, you'll be all right. Yeah, absolutely, Matt. I mean, I have to revisit some of the videos I've done before with regards to like, which is what I'm actually doing at the moment. I'm going to start filtering through some of the videos like uh, how to build a, um, you know, a full website with Elemental from start to finish, a blog website, an e-commerce website. Those kind of videos are the ones I actually hate doing. I'm putting it out there now. The videos where I show you from start to finish, I hate. They take nearly a day to record, a day to edit. Um, in fact, editing can take a day and a half. Um, then you've got to upload and that takes ages. Then you've got to do all the timeline. So you, I could be losing nearly three hours of my life for like a, a two-hour video. Why does a two-hour video take a day to record because it's never just two hours you might end up spending four or five hours and then you have to redo bits oh no i'm going to change my mind oh i'll do that instead so what i'm trying to weigh up in my head and maybe you can all let me know what your thoughts are about this if i was going to do a video on how to build a website with elemental from start to finish in terms of wordpress installation page speed optimization, building out your header footer, building out your page, your menu, your other pages, blah, 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 all of that, your blog. What if you wanted to have a WooCommerce side of it? If I was going to do this big hunker dunker, enormous video, right? Do you want me to do it as I'm actually doing it? So even if there are mistakes, they stay in the video. That would mean I don't have to edit. But then I feel like you're gonna. I I hate watching videos where um, they release a video. It's half an hour long. Of that half an hour, twenty five minutes of it was the guy going or the female or whoever going. Oh, let's try this. Oh, that's not working. Should we try this instead? No, that's not working as well. Let me have a think. Hmm. What about this? No. Oh, let me go and check something. And you're literally sat there going. You've just put out a video saying, this is how to do X, but we're watching you struggling to do X and you might get there. And that's why, I mean, I think though, there probably wouldn't be many mistakes. Hey, George, how are you? Working hard as always, my friend, working hard. I know you are. So I am tempted. I am tempted um, to kind of just build, like plan it out. I would have to plan it out and then um, just do like a straight up, you know, um, unedited 
full on, let's just do that. But then there is a part of me that feels a bit like I think that could annoy people. So I just don't know, you know. Yeah, exactly, Matt. And that's my, that's the thing I feel that, you know, um, if you do a video where you are, where you're falling over yourself, you sit there because we just don't have the time, do we? Like if I'm watching a video on someone who says, I'm going to show you how to do X, Y, Z. I want them to show me how to do X, Y, Z. I don't mind if there's a little bit of deviation, but there's um there's one person who does bricks builder videos, right? Every time they put out a video, their video literally is like them problem solving in their head. You know? Absolutely, Matt. I mean, um the, the trouble is, Matt, I've got so much on at the moment, like so ridiculously busy at the moment that I've got to weigh up, like, how much time do I put aside to doing something like this? Um, by the way, for anyone who has not signed up yet, please don't forget, we've got our new How to Get High Ticket Clients from LinkedIn webinar. Uh, the link I've just posted, um, it's on our Facebook page and everything there. Go and sign up. Go and sign up. It's completely free. Hey, from Los Angeles, Johnny. Go and sign up for it. It's completely free. It's going to be one hour, right? It will be done as a live chat, but it won't be um, like a public live chat. It will be a private live chat. Okay. Um, I can hear Raheem coming in now. He's probably going to come running in here to ask if he wants to go to the park. And I'm going to say no. Yeah, exactly, Michael. Yeah. So I think that it's going to be far better for me just to invest the time. I need a day. I need a day where there's no live chat, most likely a weekend. No live chat, no no client work, no phone calls, no son, no wife, no family, no nothing. No postman, no one knocking the door, no birds, no no deer in the garden. I need a day of nothing. Hey Francisco, so what SEO enterprise tool did you do? Also by the way, I've actually over here started making my notes for the video I'm going to record pretty soon on SEO. SEO on uh, what can you do to help yourself out a bit more. Um, and I'm only going to give you the hard killer facts, okay? I'm not going to say, what does SEO stand for? It stands for Search Engine Optimization. This is about you getting found in the search engine and about optimizing it. How many videos do that? And you sit there thinking, yeah, I know, just get on with what I need to do, you know. And then they spend like five minutes going, if you go to Google and you Google X, Y, Z, if you have not SEO'd, you might not be there. No, really, Sherlock, like really, you know, goddamn, you know, amazing detective, go solve some crimes, why don't you? You know, Colombo would be proud of you. I get really annoyed by videos and SEO tools like that. I know what you mean, George, five days, do you know what I mean? It's like, um, I want to do that big video, but I've got to literally like, I've got to carve out time and we've got clients coming on board in April. We've got this webinar. We started our how to start a web design super course. Um, uh, well, th 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 there's always stuff, right? And there's always notifications and messages and things to deal with. So it's like trying to find that time. Um, let me just check some of the comments. Yeah, so Rookie Smarts, Francisco, what SEO enterprise tool have you bought? So Johnny asks, when is the last vacation of more than five days? The last time I took off five days. The last time, I'm, I'm going to tell you now. The last time I took off five days where it wasn't uh, where I was doing something, was, let me get the date right for you now, let me get the date right for you, was July 
2010. July 2010. July 20. I've heard of Website Auditor. Why does that ring a bell, Francisco? That rings a bell to me, Website Auditor. Was I looking at that on the weekend? I might have been. It rings a bell to me. So, um, July 2010. And when I, when I say five days off, I went to Hong Kong. Um, I didn't take my laptop. I did have my phone. I made sure I did not have, like, uh, loads of stuff on me or anything like that. Um, you know, I went on my own and it was almost like a de-stress. I needed it because I had that previous year in 2009 was a really bad year for me in terms of falling out with colleagues at work, um, arguments with some people, um, family life, things were just were not, I was not in a great, great place. Am I overdue? The funny thing is, Johnny, the funny thing is, right, is that I feel more relaxed when I'm on top of stuff. And I can tell you now, I can tell you now, Johnny, right, if I literally like say, okay, I'm going to watch Netflix or TV or a movie, or I'm going to go to the city centre with my son, whatever, and I do not look at my phone for four hours and I ignore any messages, you know, I will come back to the biggest heap. Let me tell you now, right, during this live chat, okay, during this live chat, right, let me now, right, okay, there we go, okay, I'm not going to share, okay, I'm not going to share, right, I'm going to tell you now, I'm going to delete, I'm going to delete the spam, right, that one's a spam, uh, that one is a spam, yep, yeah, there you go, right. So I've now deleted the spam emails that have come through, okay? I have now deleted the spam emails. Let, just look at my screen for a moment. Okay, just look up here. Since we went live 51 minutes ago, I've got 21 emails come in. And 21 of those emails, okay, all 20, I've just deleted the three spams I had. 21 emails, 21. And they're all real. They're either clients, people contacting me, uh, two of them are prospects. That is literally the life. I kid you not, every night, okay, I try, I every, well, during the day, I'm going through my notifications messages, right? Late at night, I'm clearing off everything, all comments, replies, whatever. The next morning, I when I wake up in bed, I don't jump out of bed. I spend 10 minutes or 15 minutes in bed, literally just going through comments and messages. Um, and yeah, Jawad. Uh, what I'm going to say, Jawad, though, right? Yeah, what I'm going to say, though, is please be aware yeah, that there might be people on here that do use Divi and don't have any issue with it. So I would say... It's better to be respectful over what people use. So I think you, I mean, look, if you feel like it's the worst, that is your subjective opinion. And I respect that to an extent. But what I would say is um, I wouldn't really post messages like that because, you know, you know, there's going to be people out there that do like Divi. So I'm going to say, let's not go there. Right. Let's not go there. And if you do decide to continue the conversation, Jawad, then... You know, let's see how long you last, okay? Um, hey, nice one, George. I just read what you wrote there. Yep, 13 years ago, mate, 13 years. The thing is, though, um, there is one major reason why there is one big reason why I'm not really taking much holidays as well. Um, touch wood, okay, we will have saved up enough money to clear the mortgage in, um, uh, where are we now? We're in uh, April, May, June, July, four months, July, right? In four months, July, we should clear the mortgage, okay? And that's where I'm putting all my money. And the, the, there's two, well, there's there's big reasons, okay? Um, I had a heart attack two and, uh, when did I have it now? Two and a half years ago, okay? 
It's an eye-opener. And even though if something happened to me or my wife, we have life insurance, we have cover, we have X, Y, Z, okay? She's got pension, I've got pension, right? However, I want to make sure that come July, the biggest overhead burden on my head is the mortgage, right? Once that mortgage is cleared, right? Once that mortgage is cleared, I don't have any car loan. I don't have any other loans I owe anyone. The biggest debt we have is the mortgage. Once that mortgage is cleared, then we obviously have recurring bills, monthly bills. Of course you do. But when you lose that mortgage, anyone here who has a mortgage, who's cleared it successfully or is working towards it, it's one of those things where, and in the current climate, in the current market, right, To be able to clear that and not sit there worrying about interest rates. I mean, I'm okay. We're not affected by any interest rate issues because I fixed it a year and a bit ago. But once, you know, but knowing that I don't have to ever worry about mortgages up and down the rates, it's, it's, it's the release it would give me inside. uh, I can't explain it. I cannot explain it, okay? And I have said to Raheem that, you know, most likely next year we'll do a really big hunker-dunker holiday somewhere. Um, Yeah, so Pete is saying uh, being mortgage-free is the most amazing feeling. My wife and I have been mortgage-free. Yeah, it is, and that's what I mean, Pete, isn't it? I mean, Bill, you're always going to have bills, You know, your gas bill, your electric bill goes up and down, up and down. But when you know there is that extra bit of capital that every month you are just paying like that, you're just doing that, right? You're just doing that. And just to put into context, okay, let me put into context how much I've been saving, right? Our mortgage still has, okay, 13 years left on it. 13 years to clear it. 13 years. If we pay what they've been what we have to pay, it will still take 13 years. I have been saving left, right, and center, right, for so long that we're gonna clear it in four months. That's how much I've been just but I haven't, but that doesn't mean I've been tight. I've, if I wanted to buy a big TV, I got it. If I wanted to get a car, if I wanted to do X, Y, Z, if I wanted to change the room, you know, this haul cost me £200, nearly to, no, 150 Got the light, the paint. I got a new shelf over there. I got some fake plants, which were a waste of money because you can't even see them. That was a waste of money. Right, artificial plants. I don't know. I should have thought that out a bit better, but that was a waste. But, you know, being able to... um, And also, like, I want to... Yeah, four months. Four months. That's how much I've saved up. So I have 13 years left, and and I'll clear in four months now. Um, And uh, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? I I, want to know, yeah, that, like, I can... um, Because I haven't really put any money aside for Raheem, okay? I'm putting everything into the mortgage build, right? To clear that. But as a dad, I don't feel like I've done my duty enough for him. And I'm not going to get emotional about this, but I don't feel like I've done enough for him. And I want to now, once that mortgage is cleared, the money I was putting aside for the mortgage, right? So our mortgage, right? is £500 a month, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I've been very careful and, and and like, my interest rate is 1%, right? That's my interest rate, 1%. £500 a month, and I've been doing top-up payments every year to bring it down, bring it down. I want to put that £500 a month into a savings account for Raheem, okay? I want to build up that savings pot because I don't know... If I'll be here in 10 years, 15 years time and I do worry about him and I want to make sure that I leave him with enough to do what he needs to do in the future. 
because I really don't feel like I, 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 you know, I mean, look, we haven't done a big major holiday, you know. I mean, he's quite afraid of stuff like that anyway, planes and stuff. So we haven't really done much. But I do feel like I, I just want to do more. I want to do more for him as well. But at the same time, the reason I want to clear that mortgage is that that is a debt that's gone. I If the interest rate shoots up to 10%, it doesn't affect me. Anyway, um, yes, what I'm going to say, I, I mean, I have I have been reading the comments, though, about Divi and, and, and everything that everyone is saying. And I completely agree, yeah, that use what works for you, okay? Now, Jawad, who came on, he's obviously not replied, so I'm not bothered now, but... Hello. What's up? We're just playing outside. Who with? Who are you playing with? So we're in the corner. Okay, are you okay? Yeah. Are you not cold? Not cold. Can you come here a moment? Can you come here a moment? Stand back. Stand there. That is, he's got a yogurt on his trousers. Why have you gone out with yogurt on your trousers down there? When you are old, I told it's pink. when you are older, you will understand how going outside with white stains here is not good. What? No, I'm not going to explain to you right now why. But when you're older, you'll understand that going outside with white stains on your trousers is not a good look. <laughs> That's yogurt. But he's gone and told him it's paint. It's yogurt. I don't know how he did it. He had yogurt, and somehow. He got the yogurt all over him, so no, like literally, no. like. You cannot take your iPad outside. In the porch. Who are you gonna look at it with? Just me. Why in the porch? Because not outside. Cause... I I'm gonna ask you that if you're gonna look at the iPad, you have to do it inside, not in the porch. Okay. Not in the porch. Raheem, not in the porch. Um. Okay. All right. Either do it in the porch or not at all. God, can I look at the iPad in the porch? No. No, 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 no. Uh, he's, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he told him it's paint, George. Like, I thought, you're walking around outside with, like, these big white stains all down your trouser leg, you know. But when you're older, you'll understand, <laughs> right? Oh, dear. Watch the replay in a few years. Yes, Ben. Absolutely. Yes. Like I said, yeah, hope to see you on the webinars. Uh, if not, by the way, you know, if it's of no interest to you, don't worry about it. OK, we're not trying to force sell anything down anyone's throat or anything like that. This is a parenting podcast. It is. Um, I mean, I um, I used to offer a lot of financial guidance to a lot of people at work. Uh <laughs> I did, didn't I, Matt? Yeah, exactly. Um, I used to offer a lot of financial guidance. So a lot of people in my work would someone sometimes, um, you heard about it or they were struggling. And I would often say to them, like, um, right, let's write down, okay, what is your income for the month? What income, what outgoings you cannot change? You can't change. You've got to go out. Council tax, electric, gas you know, uh, petrol costs. What, what what can't you change? Food. But the food was a grey one. When I would start to say, okay, now what else are you doing? And nine times out of ten, a lot of the people I worked with that were struggling with their finances, it was like, I go out every week. And you go, okay, so what are you spending every week? I have three, or f I have three takeaways a week. Right, what are you spending per takeaway? Um... I have a gym membership, but I don't go to the gym, but I don't want to cancel it. Cancel it. You're not going. You know, plain and blooming simple. Um, I support Liverpool Football Club. I used to have Sky Sports. I cancelled Sky Sports about four years ago because I wasn't always watching the football games because watching Liverpool stresses me out when they're not doing well and they're not doing well right now. So I don't like to watch it. You might say, but then you're not a true fan. Trust me, when it stresses you out, you're a true fan. OK. Um, um, uh, uh, council tax, by the way, Johnny, is uh, I pay £260 a month for council tax. 
in the UK that goes towards the police, the fire service, the council, the road cleaning, the upkeep services and stuff like that. Um, it's a tax. We wish we didn't have to pay it, but we do have to pay it. Hey, Michael, how are you doing? Yeah, Matt, I do think, Matt, that you're at this position at the moment where, like, you have a lot to gain and a lot to learn, okay? So use this to your advantage. Uh, do I have any good websites or software to resize 100 images at the same time? Um, Michael, when you say resize, have you tried bulk resize photos.com, which allows you to resize images? When you say resize, do you mean halving them or doubling them or... Um, cropping them what do you mean because if it's just a case of shrinking them all you could do that um no uh rookie uh, francisco so this webinar is just about linkedin it's not about website auditor no it's not about that it's not about that uh yeah so 260 pounds a month is what i pay it does depend on the size of your house by the way so some people will be paying uh less than that Mine is, um, yeah, there'll be people paying a lot less than that. Because of the size of the house, we're, we're, we're kind of, we're towards the upper bracket kind of thing. Not completely, but yeah, quite a bit. Okay, what was I saying? What was I saying before that? I was talking about, do you know what? I, I keep losing my mind and memory over what I was talking about. Maybe I should watch my um, live chat and re find out what was I ta what was I talking about? What was I talking about? Oh man, it's gone now. Anyway, client sent a hundred images too high. Each image has sixty. Um, Michael. Um, no, but that that is the property tax in a way, Johnny. That is the property tax. The council tax is like the property tax. Um, Bulk resize photos.com, Michael. You can press them to a WebP and you can also set it to reduce the size as well. You know, like maybe they are like 5,000 pixels. You can reduce it down to be just like a 1920 by 1080 and all of that. Um, have you scheduled a link to appear every 10 minutes? Uh, no, I'm pasting it, Francisco. No, literally, Francisco, this is me just hitting paste like that. It's me just hitting paste. What was I talking about before I went on to that? Councils and images. What was I talking about? What was I talking about? What was I talking about? It's gone out of my head now. I was talking about my son. I was talking about money. People. Savings. In how, um, what you have to do is re-explore what you're spending money on and what do you need to. No, sports, that was it, Sky Sports. Um, here's the website, it's the bulkresizephotos.com. Go over there, uh, Michael, bulkresizephotos.com. Yes, so I cancelled my Sky Sports because number one, I don't really care for all the other sports. I wasn't even watching Liverpool all the time. I could also see some of the games or highlights or whatever while I'm working. So what was the point of spending so much money, right? Um, you know, you re-explore all the subscriptions that you have. You know, if you're paying a monthly deal for something. Photoshop, I wasn't even using Photoshop. There you go, that's 20 quid saved a month again, right? Um you start to think about what is essential and what was a desirable. And me and my wife and my son, there's only three of us in this house. There's only three of us in this house. Our monthly bill on food, okay, our monthly bill, okay, and this is not a lie, this is not a lie, okay, our monthly bill on food and takeaways, okay, is about £460 per month. Now, that might sound like a lot, but that covers takeaways, food, bits and pieces here and there, okay? That's our grocery bill. I know people that I used to work with that were spending over £300 a week per week. 
And I used to say to them, what are you spending that on? Oh, but I have a family. I'd be like, yeah, but you've got two small kids. They're just two small kids. What are you spending on? And often the, the problem is, is that is you're buying like um, high costed items. You're, high, you're buying like um, expensive stuff to eat, to just eat. You're going to eat and shit it out, plain and simple. And I would say to them, you're complaining about money. You're whinging to me about your spend and your salary not being enough. Reevaluate what you're spending on. Oh, and by the way, you, you, you go on three or four holidays a year. You go on three or four holidays a year. You spend a huge amount on food. You're going out with your mates every week and you're telling me you're struggling with money. I think you just answered your question. Um, and because you can enjoy life so much, but if you're careful and prudent with your finances, you'll enjoy it a lot better. And it's better to go through the week, go through the month, whereby you're not stressing over your finances, right? You can still enjoy life, but don't do it to the point where you start to hit rock bottom on that. <laughs> yep, Home Economics 101 with Imran. Yeah, that's right. If you tuned in to talk about WordPress and web design, I think you're in for a bit of a shock, aren't you? But I really do, th I hope you... Um, I hope you appreciate why I changed the background colour and I went with this colour, mainly because um, um, the darker background kind of washed out quite a lot and I feel like the focus kind of comes back onto me a bit um, in a good way as well. I feel like it comes back onto me in a good way. So I think so far it seems to be working quite well. Um you know, when I do videos, I will have this backlight on. So it, this, whoa, wrong colour. You know, I will have that colour on behind me and I might just dim it a bit. Something like that. Something like that. In fact, I might dim it a bit more. Notice the colour of my face. Look at my face as I dim it. Look at the colour of my face as I increase it, darken it. Notice that, look, my face gets darker. And when I lighten it, my face gets lighter. The joys of, um, sorry, wait. There we go. The joys of lighting, right? The joys of lighting. Yeah, absolutely, Johnny. You are kind of right about that, do, don't I? Uh, you have room for a garden. You have room for a garden. Do I? Sorry, Johnny, do you mean room for a garden? Do you mean room for a garden? In fact, do you want to see my house? Who here wants to see my house? Who here wants to see my house from above? Does anyone want to see my house? I'm not going to put it on if you don't want to see it. But does anyone here want to see my house from above? Does anybody want to see it? Uh... If I get a yeah, I'll show it. If you don't care, I won't show it. Who wants to see my house from above? Because um, obviously we're talking about houses, aren't we? Should we show, should I show it to you? Okay, let's just get it up on here. Um, what's the difference between Hippo and Zippo? What? <laughs> Isn't Zippo a mail delivery or something? Or something like that. Do I have a place to grow food? Uh, yeah, kind of. Kind of-ish. Um, right, okay, so let me get it onto... Uh, how do I get the layers? There we go. Uh, right, okay, so... Right, so here's my house. Uh, right, so... No, here we go. Yeah, okay, right, so here's my house. This is my house over here. So there's our front garden. Um, I'm going to get rid of this grassy thing I did, which I actually hate now. But that, that's our front garden here. So this is the front garden, basically here. Um, there's the house, uh, side extension. No, uh, rear extension, side extension. Then I did another extension. Um, 
oh, about five years ago down here, side garden here, and then we got the back garden, which goes all the way back to here. And I've got my garden office down here, which I hardly ever use anymore, but there's the back garden. So there's the house, back garden, um, and there's the front garden over there. Um, but yeah, it's, um, yeah, I, I quite like it. I quite like it. It's, it's a pretty good area. It's a pretty good area. It's a very quiet area as well, in fact. It's a very quiet area, um, which is great because, like, it's a cul-de-sac. So when Raheem's playing with the kids, they only ever play in the cul-de-sac. So you don't have to worry about, like, um, yeah, do, Johnny, thanks. Um, so it's kind of like everyone's very thoughtful with how they drive in the area and stuff like that. I'm not very good at growing food, neither is my wife. When it comes to vegetables, they always end up weird and mashed up and like all over the place. Will I be ever doing a quickly video? The thing is though, Francisco, I had a look at quickly about a year ago and no, it wasn't a year ago. Uh, that's wrong. It was about eight months ago. And I found it complex. I didn't find it intuitive. I didn't like it. And I'm not fully engrossed into the whole Gutenberg economy yet. Maybe one day I will be, but right now I'm not fully um I'm not fully into it yet. Potatoes, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, Johnny. The thing is though, I don't eat potatoes. I don't like eating. Well, I don't eat many potatoes, carbohydrates and stuff like that. Hey, look, take care, Matt. And by the way, Matt, I know this today's call has been not so much WordPressy and more about life and stuff, but I really wish you all the best with your work. Um, um, I'd love to know if anyone you're working with um, is watching our videos too and what they think. And you can let me know in private. Do they not like me? If they don't like me, why not? Because I always love to learn and better myself. So if they've never heard from me, fine. If they have heard from me, what do they think? Do they think I'm an annoying little jerk or whatever? But I'd love to know more. Hey, uh, hey George has got a UK call. I like the sound of that, George. I like the sound of that. Um, yeah, and, and that's the thing though, isn't it? Um, uh, I mean, it's like, look, you take like, we got Sky TV, uh, and then on there, you pay a little bit more to have the Netflix. And then you pay a little bit more to have the Apple bit. Then you pay a little bit more for the Disney Plus. And, uh, the, the, you know, the amount of things we have to pay for now is quite horrendous. Uh, George, I'll be off in about five minutes. I'm only here for five more minutes and then I'm going to be off. So don't worry about it, mate. Uh Across, how are you doing? You want to ask, what is your process or framework when creating a copy or content on your project like web design? Well, um, I get the client to write their content, number one. Um, I get them to supply the images. If they want me to do the content or images, I charge them more. I will have a wireframe design. I give them an idea for what they need to think about. I get them to kind of tell me more about what pages they want. And then I advise them, well, have you thought about X and let's get rid of Y, do a bit more of Z. So it's more of a two-way thing between them and me rather than me telling them or them just telling me. Because I make clear to the client, if you say anything to me that I think you need to change, I will advise you. But if that's what you want, I'll give you what you want as long as we're clear. And nine times out of 10, they will always go with what I advise. I'll be like, you got too many pages, let's halve it. Or you haven't got enough, we need to increase it. Move this to here. Um, but yeah, stuff like that. Mr. JMXHD, happy Monday to you too. Yes, of course, the Elemental Pro vulnerability. It was actually, yep, yeah, like you said, WooCommerce, but it has been fine since the update. So as long as you've updated... It was answered in 3.11.7. So 3.11.7 answered the question, sorted that out. Okay, so it's all sorted out. And then there was the 3.12 update. So it is, ah, yes, Michael, Zippo is the lighter. I couldn't remember. 
Um, hippo is a big mammal, but at the same time, hippo is also used by a waste delivery company. So you get these big bags, you fill them up, and they come and lift it. Hippo bags, I think they're called. But yes, Zippo is the lighter. Forgot all about that. Um, what's an 8.8 .8 vulnerability? What's 8.8? .8? .8? What's that? PHP or something like that? Yeah, cool, Aklos. I'm glad you got that. Yeah. Um, but always try and get your clients to give you more. So you're not having to do a lot of the work and the thinking because if you're one of those designers where you build from scratch, it takes longer to build. Whereas if you have a plan, rough idea, even a wireframe scribble of how it's going to look, you can get the build done so much quicker. Last question, elemental or bricks? Well, it depends on your client across. If your client is is going to be able to update the website and look after it themselves. Let's say you and them split ways. Elemental. If they are not, you know, um, yeah, elemental. If, however, you're going to look after it and it's a more complex website with more customization than bricks, I think both of them are equally good for what you want to go for. I don't think there is a right or a wrong anymore, especially with the changes Elemental have been doing in recent times, which I think are damn, damn good. Really, really good. Hey, Melissa, um, thank you. I'm glad you like it. And by the way, you know, I've, I've, this is with the light off, but if you've seen today's video, Melissa, uh, about the webinar, you'd have noticed I had my background color. Hey, Raheem. Is that it? You just came in and go, hello, and that's it. Did you want something? No. Just looking at the screen. Okay, so Erica says, yeah, when you go to a site with multiple vendors, uh, they are a reseller. Is there a better way to using um, Mega Menu? Um, when with multiple vendors, is there a better way to use Mega Menu? I'm probably not understanding that question very well, Erica, so apologies for this. Post it in the Facebook web, web Squadron group, in the Facebook group, with an image or a scribble of what you mean. So when you say, when you go to a site with multiple vendors, is there a better way than using Mega Menu? What would be in the Mega Menu for starters, though? Oh, sorry, JMXG. Right, okay, 8.8 .8 is the level of vulnerability. Yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> I was going, 8.8? What? I gotta be like, we're not on that PHP yet, are we? Uh, depending on your knowledge, experience in web design, Bricks offers a bit more options, but if you never wrote, yeah, and that's what I mean. If you're happy to get dirty with CSS, Bricks can allow you to go a step further. If you wanna keep it simple, especially depending on what the client wants, and, and sometimes a lot of client websites are very, very simple. Elemental works for me. And also, Elemental is really good because um, if you and the clients like have an argument and they go off, they should be able to very quickly and easily work out how to use it. Whereas with Bricks, you need to have an expert working with you, I definitely think. Okay, everyone, I'm going to end the live chat in about one, well, two minutes. We'll be ending in two minutes. Um just because I've been live for one hour 23, it will bring us up to about one hour 25. And I need to go and check on Raheem. I need to check that he's eaten his lunch. I suspect he hasn't. And I also got to go, uh, look, right now I've got uh, 29 emails. No, 28. Because that is spam. That's a spam email there. Let's get rid of that spam email. Boom. 29. No, 28. No, 28, yeah, 28, <laughs> 28 emails I've got to go through. And I still have not done what I wanted to get done today. So uh, I've got to check on my son, probably quickly take him to the park because I bet he's getting frustrated. Check on emails, sort things out. And I've got a very busy rest of the day to catch up on. 
Very true, Pixar. That is actually a very true good point as well. Once the client cuts off with you, that's their problem. In fact, you probably want them to come running back to you, don't you? Okay, look, everyone, I'm going to say goodbye now. I'm going to say take care. Have a great Monday. Back tomorrow. Please don't forget, if you have not clicked and had a look, go and have a look at the Get High Ticket Clients from LinkedIn webinar that will be taking place next week. So next Tuesday, there won't be a live chat next Tuesday because I'll be doing that webinar. So we'd love to see you all there. Ah, cheers, Ben. No, no, uh, to be honest though, Ben, uh, they go into a separate mailbox. You know, the ones with people who register, that goes into a separate area. So I'm not even including them. They are separate. So don't you worry about that. 5 a.m., Johnny. Wow. Thank you so much for being here, Johnny. Um, I On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I go live uh, four hours later. So it would be about uh, 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. for you. So if you ever want to join on a Tuesday or Thursday, which are later in the day, but morning time for you, about 9 a.m., 8 or 9 a.m., come along to that and I hope to see you there. Okay, everyone, I'm going to say goodbye. Take care. Please hit like if you're not hit like. I'll see you all soon. Bye.